In this video, we're going to practice using um, interval notation to describe domain and range for cube roots and also square roots. Um, this video shouldn't be very long. If you don't know what interval notation is, you should probably check that video out first. Um, I started to describe it um, talking about quadratics. So slightly different function but the same notation this time. So we're talking about interval notation. And we're going to describe domain and range. Let's start with a square root. Let's do x minus 2 plus 4. Remember that our uh, vertex or our starting point for these graphs are at our h and k value. So that's going to be positive 2, positive 4. And the shortcut, if a is 1, is to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 3, and up 1 over 5 for square root functions. So we'll always get a graph that looks like that. If we want to describe the domain, um, we want to look at the farthest left value or least value for x. Um, so it starts at 2, it doesn't go any less than that, and it includes 2. So we're going to use a bracket 2. And if our graph never stops going to the right, we will say that it doesn't have a limit, it's going to go towards infinity, and we can't contain infinity, so we use a parenthesis. So there's our domain and interval notation. And now let's do the range. So we want the least value or the bottom value. Well, it stops at 4. doesn't go any lower than 4. And it includes 4. And our graph will never stop going up, even though it will look as though it's leveling out. It will still increase. So it will always go up towards or approach infinity. Can't contain it. Use parentheses. So there's our range and interval notation. Alright, hopefully that's a bit of review, just looking at a square root graph. Let's do a cube root. See how we can describe domain and range in interval notation for cube roots. So let's use the cube root of x plus 2 minus 1 here. Remember that the center of our cube root graph is going to be at the h and k value. So negative 2, negative 1 is our center. And the shortcut to graph our cube roots is go up 1 over 1. Up 1 over 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And work backwards. Do the opposite. Down 1, left 1. And down 1, left 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, so there is our cube root graph. And now the funny thing that happens when we try and describe our domain and range in interval notation is that the domain never stops going left or right. So it's negative infinity to positive infinity using our parentheses. And the range does the same thing. It never stops going down, never stops going up, even though it's going slowly. But it will always approach negative infinity and positive infinity. And so really, there's not a whole lot of point of describing domain and range in interval notation for cube roots as uh, it's not any different from this every single time. So there you go, a little bit of review on our square roots and cube root graphs. And really, we only describe domain and range in interval notation for square root graphs because there isn't much of a point for cube roots. All right, so there you go. The next video, we'll talk about a different notation, one that's used a little bit more often, set builder notation. So look forward to that.